Hi, I'm going to show you how to do quite a lot of transformations of addresses uh, to a physical address to latitude and longitude and the reverse using some Python code. Now there's quite a lot of applications that will do this for you. Most are paid or have um, some kind of limitation, but you can do this all with some very simple Python code and I'll show you how to get into the API and use a geo pi. It's quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import pandas as pd. Pandas is our data manipulation library and I'm using numpy. Numpy does a lot of things but mostly linear algebra and some numerical transformations. And then from GeoPy, which is the main library that we're going to use, and from the GeoCoder section, I'm going to get this particular library. Now, I'll just call that num for short. Um, and then what I want to do is get some address data. So I have a CSV with a bunch of addresses, and I just isolated the address column. And then you can see here we have 20 addresses, and I want to be able to convert these to latitude and a longitude. So what I'm going to do is first initialize that geolocator. And you can see the geolocator here is based on that uh, this particular library that we bought in. And then we give it a um, name for the user agent because this needs to contact the service that we're going to use to do the latitude and longitude. This naming is not important. You can call it what you want, but it does need to be unique and not the default name, which is my application. Um, so I initialize a geocoder, and you can see I call that geolocator. I use that uh, function here and pass in the user agent. Once I have this, I can pass in any address, and what I can get is the latitude and longitude. And you can see once that go, goes into this variable called geolocator, I get access to geocode. I pass in this address, which I just copied from above. You can see line 14. And then it will give me the latitude or longitude. So if I run this and shift and enter, you can see it gives me the latitude. And I can also get the longitude, you can see there. And I run that again, and there's a the longitude. Now, we have these 20 addresses, which would not be hard to just one-on-one -on -one enter this. But the beauty of using Python is we can use a user-defined function, which is just creating our own function. I'm going to call this get latitude and longitude. I'm going to pass in the same address as I did before. I'm going to use that geolocator to get the address. And then I want a series or a list with the latitude and longitude of each one of these addresses. Now, we have to give it a try or if statement because maybe it can't find the address because it's entered in wrong or there might be an issue with the formatting that you have in your data. So we give it a try. And we say try to use the same method we used above. Return a series which has the latitude and longitude. And you can see I just saved it as the variable location instead of writing geolocator over, over, over again. And then I just create a new column, which are two columns in my data frame. And then I apply this function to each one of those lines of data. So you can see I took the function, which is get lat and long, and applied it to each of the addresses. And what we get is we get the address and the latitude and longitude, which is really easy to do. Now we can do the reverse. So if you have a location, which is built by latitude and longitude, and you want to get the physical address, what we can use is the reverse of what we used before. So you can see that geolocator that we brought in. We pass it in the latitude and longitude. Now, it needs to be passed in 
using this structure, which is what we call an F statement, and we are able to pass in longitude and latitude using these curly brackets, which are signified as a dictionary, we pass in this parameter to this reverse function that tells us to give us all the address details, which is true, and only give us one address. So you can see what we get is this location here, and it's broken down with all this information. Now, this is in a tuple, so it's kind of hard to access, but we can just take this same line of code and put raw behind it and get everything that comes in that um, geolocator. So you can see we can get quite a lot. The street map, which is open street map, which is where we got it from. We can get latitude and long longitude, the display name, the address. And since this is a dictionary, what we can do is we can create a new line and I can just copy this and each one of these aspects we can just pull out. For example, I'm going to just copy and paste that. So you can see I can just pull the address out of that particular information. So we can definitely just save it as a location or any any variable that we want. Once we have that, we just pass in the same function and we do the reverse. And what we can do is get the addresses in our data. So the code is just slightly different. We're still using that function to get an address, but then you're gonna be passing in the latitude and longitude. The location, we are saving this as a our geolocator and go in reverse by taking that latitude and longitude and using that F string. Then we get a new address here that we are applying. That's going to be a new column. And then all we're doing is applying that function. However, we need to use lambda to help because we want two elements here, right? We want the latitude and longitude from each row. So what we do is this kind of this is kind of like a for loop. So for each row in our data that has an address, we want to apply this get address and apply also to get the latitude and longitude and create a new column so everything looks like this data frame that we have. So I hope that's a great way for you guys to transform and code your address data using GeoPy. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.